Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Deponia. Last time, we explored this uh, junk heap slash train rail tracks place for a bit. Met Doc, who's an engineer and a brain surgeon, and he's offered to fix Gull's brain implant. But we have to get Gull over to this side first, and then get her over to, I guess, the floating black market is where we need to go. Somewhere around there. Well, actually, we can't. I just remembered because... We actually need to go to the lower ascension station. That's the priority. Anyway, we now have three uh, power inverters. I don't think it matters which one you put into the uh, bike. And sit tight. Ha! I mean, uh, of course it does. It's a piece of cake for a pro. All right, let's hop let's in. Let's give it a try. Like a kitten. Nice. With asthma. <laughs> a cool, exploding asthma kitten. <laughs> well, I guess we can go. Off we go! Yippee! Whoa, a lever! Woohoo! And that brings us around in a big fat wow, circle. Wow, what a ride! Wonder where I am. Hey, wait a second. This looks exactly like the starting point, only I'm facing the other direction. Huh. They must have arranged the tracks symmetrically, or I must have gone in a circle. <laughs> yeah. What's this switch? What the? I knew this would happen. Shoot. But at least it got us access to this upper area and all oh, this part. Uh, hmm. ah, We're not doing yep, this quite yet. Clear. I don't have any trouble with past the recipe. <laughs> but pretty much, you start, uh, when we do this, you're going to start here and we need to end up over here. And we're going to have to change these tracks so that it eventually takes us to this part. It's, it's hard. I, it's hard to figure out. <laughs> Lock. Let's see what else we got. Oh. Cloth. Like this. Oh. This says I haven't loaded enough trash to be able to switch the points. That doesn't matter, though. I can't take off without goal anyway. Yeah, so pretty much that's it's kind of the, the plot wall right there that we need goal to weigh down so it looks like there's enough quote unquote trash. This says All that right. doesn't matter. I can't Well let's see what's off this way. Hmm. And now we're on the upper part. All signals are on go. So why am I still Signaling that light red there. What does this button do? Looking here, there really was a secret passage. I wonder where it leads. Well, I hope it's somewhere cool. It leads down there. Top notch. Well, at least it's a shortcut. That's what matters. So that lever, I'm assuming, is going to go there. But if we don't stop, uh, we don't. We don't even slow down enough to be able to grab it. See, we do have a power inverter. Let's use it on the crane. Let's see if uh, that'll power this puppy up. What? Oh. Uh oh! No! 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 It inverted the crane. <laughs> Whew! Obviously, I don't want to invert this. Not again. Oh well. Well, that that you get an achievement for that actually, but nothing else. I just wanted to show that off. Let's go back. We have a cloth, and Doc wanted us to wipe off that uh, bottle because we put herpes on it. I don't think Rufus has herpes. I think he was just being an idiot. Unless he got them from Tony. Ugh. But notice that uh, when I pushed that button to put the signaling light on, it actually made the uh, skeleton go down. 
so we can get the key. Yay! Ah, one leg's enough. All right. <laughs> so uh, let's wipe off that bottle. A dirty old rag. Every respectable handyman has one of these. All right. <laughs> Clean. Now I have a cloth soaked in alcohol. What are we gonna use that for? I don't know. All right, we have this key. Let's see if it'll work on this maintenance hatch. No, oh, doesn't fit. And once again, I'm one step closer to solving the mystery of the peculiar key. Hmm, but remember how this was uh, dark out there? Or in there? I wonder if we can put some light in there. But we have to be kind of tricky Don't about it. Don't drop it, you hear? Do that. And we have a regular halogen light bulb, not a red light bulb. We can put it here. But it's showing above the mirror, so it looks like we're going to have to raise that skeleton up back up again. Oh well, we'll do that in a bit. So let's go up here. Pull the lever, now the skeleton's back up. I also want to go in here. And I'm figuring this out faster than I thought I would. The, I think the first part of the game is probably the toughest to figure out. There's so much. There's not that much here. A hex key for hex nuts. <coughs> the nerd amongst tools. Ooh, a hex key is what we needed for that uh, control box down below. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Point A to point B. Hmm. Shoot, once that uh, thing went up, the signaling light closed for some reason. Well, it didn't close all the way, but it's blocking the light now. Alright, what do we have? Oh, a fuse. Um, that's all that was in there, a fuse. Okay. How we get that signaling light to actually get to there. Oh well, I'll figure that out later because there's something else we can do now. We have the fuse. So we can now finally make the crane work and get goal over here. to actually get into the uh, crane first. I love how when you get into the crane it changes the music back to the like the theme. Alright, get that in there. And hopefully it works! <laughs> it really works! Now I only have to heave goal onto the mine bike and whammo! Huh? Where's the mine bike? Oh crap. I knew I forgot something. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well then. <laughs> we actually have to get the mine bike over there, silly me. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard if I can. Here. Bye. And set off. Oh. Yippee! Again, the lever! Yes, yes, we know, Lucas. I love how it reminds you every time just to make sure you know that there's a lever there.
But we need to be able to change the tracks, and in order to do that, we need the lever. Well, shoot. Okay, I think I've figured it out finally. Uh, let's uh, get off with this first. So we have that rag with alcohol in it. Oh. And. Maybe just. Oh, I have to lower that down again. <laughs> Just a second. Do do do. Oh, wrong way around. There we go. Hmm. All right. Do do do. There we go. I noticed that the mirror is pretty it's dirty. It's real filthy. I can't make out anything. Where's Tony when you need her? Well, luckily we have cleaning supplies. This is the second time we've cleaned a piece of glass today. Okay. So hopefully that will work out. Let's see, is there anything else? Alright, so maybe now... Hopefully. Please let this work. Come on. Still no. Okay, I, 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 re I remember what to do now. I remember this part gave me trouble before as well. Okay. So, we took the fuse from the fuse box. From the maintenance box, whatever. And remember when we used the inverter on the uh, crane and inverted the crane. Well, what if we put an inverter in the maintenance box? Let's see. If I install the power inverter here, the signal is doing the exact opposite of what the signal light is showing. Finally. <laughs> Excellent. And now there should be light going into here. Huh, the bright light stabilizes the sound waves. <laughs> I can see in the dark. Ouch! <laughs> so we finally make it over here without speeding by in a minecart. The lever for the point, detached and discarded. It was probably the signalman's last wish for the mine bike to never roll again. Well, he didn't reckon on me. <laughs> so we can grab that. And there's also this right here. Hey, there's still something in there. This is still half full. Alright, let's take a drink and... <coughs> Only a beetle! Ew, you just drank a beetle. So it's not full of anything, just a, just a bug. Hmm. Oh well, not to worry about that. So we have the lever now. And let's cram that in there. And use it. I am an expert in putting the cart before the horse. But this time the horse is facing the wrong way. Okay, we need to get this race facing the right way. I guess we just set off, and luckily it doesn't show the whole scene again. All right. No, I didn't want to. Uh, I wanted to get off. I didn't want to do that. Oh well. Okay. Now dismount. Pull the lever. And lo and behold, we can now go that way! Finally. So, we 
finally have the minecart there. We have a working crane. All should be as it should be. Child's play. Let's play the crane Ready? game. Go. Oh, oh. Crap. Oh, damn. What's wrong with me? I'm usually totally laid back. It must be the fumes from the mine. How can Doc stand them? Huh, I better go and ask him. So it seems we're too uh, shaky and jittery to be able to do this accurately. But Doc might have some advice for us. He's a cool guy like that. Let's see what Doc has to say. Hi there. Huh? What? Oh! Hello! I have some more, uh, challenges. Keep them coming! Doc, uh, I, I'm a, a little highly strung. I can see that. Look at you. The hands, the eyes, the hair. Huh? You should do something about it. Unrest is a handyman's death. If I get too twitchy, I meditate. Meditate? Yes. You should try it for yourself. Like this. Lodge your leg behind your head and fixate on a point on the horizon. Wait, I'll show you. Ow. Oh my goodness. Just take it in. Okay, let's look at the That's horizon. right. Whoa. Can you see how everything gets more focused and how the colors are more lively? I have fixated on that strange blue shape to the right. Now I let my eyes wander to the north until I see a blue pole. Now I gaze far over to the west to that green thing. And then in a straight line to this blue thing down there. And then, finally... Uh, whoa, I'm already utterly entranced. In any case, you have to tell the world who you are. I am a river. After that, I take a good swig from my hip flask, and I'm all relaxed. Got everything? <laughs> okay, so this is an interesting puzzle. We have to do everything that he just said. Leg behind head. Notice when he's looking at the horizon that there were letters. He said he started at the right at the red thing, which was an R. He said he went up to a blue pole, which is an I. Then went over to a B. Then an E. Then back to an R. Then he said, I am a river. We're not going to be the sa saying the same thing, because when we look, it's going to be different. And note that he also took a swig from his booze flask, so we're going to need some booze as well. But ours is empty. Hmm. Well, will it work? Will we be able to relax, get Gol onto the crane, get her into the cart, and finally get to the lower ascension station? Well, you're just going to have to find out next time on Let's Play Deponia. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.